Team Olympia versus Navi. And yet again, this fun 30 minute battle day format. Some of you guys might absolutely hate this format. I don't blame you, but I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, sure. Some of the attacks are going to overlap, but the ending is always very fun and, and scary. You don't know who's going to win when there's like six attacks all at the same time. We got one attack going in early, though, from Team Olympia. Let's see what they're going to do. Electro Dragons. King, Queen on the right side of the base. Here come the e drags from the top right. King, going to have to pop ability so early here. Pop his ability. He's already dead as heck. Do we got the Phoenix? Heck yeah, we do. Siege Barracks on the left side. Cool, cool, cool. e drags doing some clan clashing from the northeast portion of the base. Queen's still alive. She's chilling. Still got a Royal Champion to deploy. e drags struggling a little bit. We've used all of our rages already. I'm a little scared for the Town Hall. Royal Champion at 6 o'clock with nothing to distract the Monolith. And she's going to have to fight the Barbarian King. There's a freeze on the Town Hall. On the Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion pops ability. Freeze again. Super Minions doing their thing on the left side of the base. Freeze on the Town Hall and the Expo. That's the last one. Down goes the Town Hall, but are we looking at a 3-star? Or... This is fizzling out. Down goes the Queen. Oh, this is a defense, bro. Rip. Big rip. For Junior. Down goes the final E-Drag. This is going to be an 83% attack. Yikes. Not the way you want to start a match against Na'Vi in normal mode. Yo, we got a Na'Vi attack early. Yada going in with like 15 minutes left in battle day. My man trying to give us some actual content. Giant arrow through the middle of the base. Siege barracks on the right. King popping his ability. Root Riders. Let's go. Let's go. Root Riders OP. Valkyries. Druids. Lots of super barbs for later. Skeleton spell trying to distract the monolith. Aggressive rage on the Archer Queen. Warren ability. Three, two, one. There he goes. Siege Barracks units on the right side of the base. Still chilling. Getting through the core with a rage. We do have an overgrowth. There it is on the poison tower on the town hall. Royal Champion Spirit Fox with the Asha Queen. Alright. Sure. Take out the enemy champion. Coolio. Wizards take out the Barbarian King on the right. Yes, yes, yes. Snipe the scatter shot. We're still looking decent. Royal Champion has ability. We got a rage. We got three freezes. This should be crushed. Should be crushed. Crooker, crooker, crushed. Freeze spell. Rage spell. Druids, Valkyries are all chilling. One more freeze, and that's a GG's for the gamers. Nicely done to Mr. Yada, and an early lead for Navi. Three to two. Klaus is in next. They're actually going one at a time. I'm impressed. Four Root Riders, 17 Valks, four Super Wizards. Hey, yo. This is going to be fun. Does he have a Fireball? No, a Healing Dome. But four Super Wizards. Wow. So many Valkyries. King, Queen on the bottom. Warden, Root Riders, Super Wizards in behind the Root Riders. Okay. All right. Rage, Warden ability, Royal Champion already deployed. There are two poison towers. We do have a jumping spell. Pop the king ability. Queen is with the super wizards now. Poison tower scares me, but the healing tome might keep him alive. King doing his king things. Single target inferno towers might not be that big of a deal. Spirit fox goes invisible. We freeze the other one. Still got a bunch of spells. Nine more Valkyries. He can sprinkle them around the edge of the base. Extra Valks out of the siege barracks as well. Freeze on the single target inferno tower on the right side. Trying to keep that king queen duo alive. Still has a Super Wizard alive over there. That might be the only one left. Never mind, he's dead. Overgrowth expires. Root Riders opening up some walls. Queen, are you going to go back for the Town Hall? <laughs> Unicorn's dead. King's dead. Royal Champion struggling a little bit. We got her ability. Healer Puppet. Queen, come on, take that Town Hall. Freeze the Monolith. Royal Champ ability can go invisible one more time. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Nicely done for Mr. Klausnos. Honestly, it was a little sketchy. I don't know if that army is the actual go-to army. <laughs> but it works, man. He can make anything work. Down goes the Wizard Tower. The last couple storages. It's a clan clash triple. And Navi are two for two. Pedroso for Team Olympia. We got Super Hogs. We got Healers. Queen Charge Super Hogs. Interesting. 
Not something we'd normally consider meta right now. And he's got a lava hound. <laughs> All right, I guess it's for the battle blimp. It just is goofy though. He's gonna do like a blizz on top of that? No, no way. No, he doesn't have any invis. Might have to rage up the queen, we'll see. We do have a frozen arrow. Might not have to. We'll break way up there for the junction. We do rage the queen. She won't be able to reach the expo unless she walks around the right side, but I don't think she's gonna do that. She's gonna go up. So we probably didn't have to rage the queen at all. King to funnel her in though. Healers might start taking damage soon. King gets the gold storage, gonna keep on walking. Rage and another freeze. She's in a little bit of trouble. She might be okay. We're gonna overgrowth. Get the expo off her back. Jump spell, even though he definitely could have just wall broke. Goofy. Next rage, using all the spells early. We only got one rage left, and that's it. There's the poison. King doing his king things. Royal champion, Grand Ward on ground mode. I like it. Super piggies, let's go. Let's go. Snipe the enemy champion, please. Thank you very much. With the help of the headhunter. Uh-oh, overgrowth expired. She might be in a little bit of trouble. Gotta pop her ability, gotta pop her ability. Don't let her die through ability. Rip. He let her die through ability. Battle Blimp gets to the town hall. Grand Warden's still chilling. Healer Puppet switched to the Royal Champion, but she's dead as heck. <laughs> oh boy. If he didn't let Queen die through ability, this probably would have tripled. Maybe. Still waiting for the next Navi attack to go in. Super Hogs, Super Riders doing their thing, getting some more value. Going to be uh, close to 90%. But not going to be a triple against Klaus's base. Nice try to the homie. Kazuma been hitting all the thumbnails lately, though. I can't miss this. And he's got a fireball. Boop. Fireball to the eagle, double quake setup. Archer queen, giant arrow, boom. Snipe even more buildings. Let's go, bro. You blink and you miss it. This guy's attacks are so fast lately. He's got 22 rocket balloons, starting to send them from every angle. Every single angle. You gotta stay zoomed out, because he is dropping things from every side of the base. Aggressive rage on the queen on the right side of the base. King, royal champion on the left side. Rocket balloons getting closer and closer to that town hall with every single second. Three more rocket balloons dropping them from the right. It has so many freaking cleanup minions. Another freeze. Another invis. Earthquake boots. Spiky ball. Down goes the entire base in like seven seconds. What the actual heck? He finished his entire attack before, before Gaku even gets a second star. Overgrowth spell is in. Brute riders from Gaku. This is crushed as well. This is crushed as well. Down goes the ricochet cannon. Overgrowth expires. One more freeze. I gotta see how fast that Kazuma attack was, dude. He just gets better and better with every single attack. It's actually insane. Nice hit from Gaku. We will watch it. But first, how fast was the Kazuma attack? When did he start? When did he start? Was that less than 50 seconds? Oh my gosh. This guy is getting out of hand. 45 maybe 46 second attack what the actual heck bro this guy's insane as long as klaus didn't uh, or no who's the last attacker stars as long as stars didn't fall asleep the match is already over he might have fallen asleep what time is in japan quickly watch the gaku attack and then we'll check out the other live jump spell queen on the right root riders Siege Barracks on the left. Pop that Warren ability. Overgrowth. Simple, simple plan from Gaku, but so effective. Super Barb's delayed. Taking the jump spell. That looks so cool. Good job, Gaku. Let's see if Team Olympia can actually hit a triple. Come on. Come on. Looks like he had a clone spell for a blimp, and he did not get the town... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. These guys are struggling. These guys made it all the way to the third round, though. How are they struggling so hard? How did they make it to the third round? 
What the? This might be a one star unless he just sends the Royal Champion to the Town Hall. Even then, I'm worried. Champion's in on the right. King ability. Queen chilling on the top side of the base. Freeze for the champion, but she has to fight the Barbarian King. That freeze didn't even hit the Town Hall. We still get it, though? No. Invisible? Bro. What the... Bro, we're actually gonna see like a 15 stars to freaking 9 star war. Hold on, Queen might take the Town Hall. She has an ability. Hold on. Hold on. There's a chance. There's a chance. Queen gets through the wall. Gotta pop the ability. Down goes the Xbox. Go for the Town Hall first. Yeah, girl! Woo! Snipe that Town Hall for the second star. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Dude, Navi's average attack duration is 112. Hi, baby Nos. <laughs> Big smile. Big smile. How you doing, cutie? Stars needs to go live. And he's in. Can Navi hit another perfect war? Oh, don't step on the keyboard, baby. Can you move my keyboard a little bit? Thank you. Here we go, baby nose. Let's watch the final attack. Oh my gosh, her toe just hit the back button. <laughs> on the iPad. Let's go. Baby nose clicking on the iPad with her toes. 25 Valkyries for stars to end the match. Oh gosh. Fireball. Boom. Kaboom. Let's go. Stars with a beautiful fireball value. 25 freaking Valkyries. All along the outer edge of the base. King popping ability. Queen on the outside chilling. This is looking good. Jump spell on the right for Valkyries, I guess. We got the Apprentice Warden helping them out. Aggressive Rage freezes in. He's trying to see if he can attack faster than Kazuma, dude. Can he? <laughs> Baby's excited. Baby's excited. She's trying to commentate. Ooh, it's gonna be like a 50 second attack. Can he finish it? Come on, go, go, go. What are they stuck on? Go for the monolith. Go for the storage. 55, 56, 57, 58. Come on. Oh, he almost had it in under 60. It was like 61 seconds. What's up, baby? Did you see that? Perfect war from Navi. We gotta wait for the other attacks to finish to see the final result. Let's see if they can hit a triple. Let's see if they can hit a triple. Uh, one more freeze. Queen ability. Row champ ability. This one might be a triple. I think it is. One more freeze. Get the town hall. Get the expo. That one's a triple. Good job. Team Olympia will hit some triple. Oh, bless you. You just sneezed. <laughs> Are you allergic to root rider attacks? <laughs> 15 stars to 12. Oh, bless you, cutie. Bless you. It's a victory for Navi, and we'll end the video here with a cute little clip of baby nose. <laughs> say hello. Tell her to say cheese. Say cheese. Yeah, say cheese. Say cheese. <laughs> Big smile. Big smile. We'll see you guys in the next video.